I'm gonna have a great session today. It's gonna be excellent, and I'm going to get pumped, nice, stacked, succulent, and dense. It's gonna be excellent. Hello, and welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey chapter 148, I believe. Let me double check here. Yes, 148. It is the third day of the week, AKA the Psycho Crusher workout. I am on my way to the gym right now very early in comparison to when I normally go on these days, but that's just because I got out of work early today. So there was that. But anyways, to the main subject matter at hand, speaking it into existence. Now, I wasn't gonna do this topic today. Actually, in fact, I wasn't gonna do any topic today. I didn't have anything to talk about. But then again, this came up when I saw the thing and I was like, huh, I mentioned this briefly, I believe the other day to someone and I was like, huh, I should talk about this because it is something that I should mention. And now that it's just a random thing to happen. So I was like, all right, let me just say it and let me talk about it a little bit because I've talked about it with people off of here. So, and I've occasionally said it on here. So I wanted to make an episode dedicated to it and at least the concept of it. So speak it into existence. The reason, I don't know the origins of it. I don't necessarily know why I even say it personally. I'd have to do some deep diving and thinking about it. Maybe that's what I'll talk about in the voiceover. But do I believe in its validity? Yes, actually, I do quite a bit, actually. And for those who don't believe in its validity, I would like to point you at uh, the amount of people that it happens to, one, and two, those are anecdotes, but if you want scientific-based stuff, just look at the placebo effect and see how that goes for people. Because sometimes it kind of fucking works. So yeah, not all the time, but a lot of the time, depending on what it is, it can work. So. That is just if you want to go into that realm and be like, it's not based in reality. Well, kind of, but also not really, because even the things that are based in reality and have been studied show that, yeah, you can kind of trick the mind to do a bunch of shit that you want it to do. But for some reason, people don't like to take advantage of that. I don't understand that entire aspect of it. I'll probably do another complete whole episode about the placebo effect, because that alone is its own thing. But I feel like speaking it into existence is somewhat of the same thing, but in a different way. And this one is a little bit more, it's a simpler thing, I feel like. I feel like more so than not, you see it all the time in writing and things like that, where somebody, let's say a character says, this is going to be the death of me. And then later in the movie, that thing kills them. You know, that entire like foreshadowing. Sure, it's like cheap or whatever. But I feel like there is some semblance of truth to something like that. If you know something is messing with you, like, why do you say it like that? Why don't you change it? You know what I mean? Your brain is saying something that saying something out loud that you know, but for some reason it's just ignored completely. It's like thinking out loud, but you're not really, you're not really doing anything about it. And it is kind of frustrating to see that happen a lot with people. Personally, I, that's why this entire idea of speaking it into existence is the reason why I dislike things like sarcasm and or things like passive aggressiveness or things like that, because people aren't direct with their words and or if they are direct with their words, it's always in a joking manner. And I don't find those things very joyful because then it's like you warp your mind into thinking that what you're saying is true. And because you say it, it just keeps happening to you because you keep saying it. So for example, if I'm like, I fucking hate this job, you know, or, or, or I fucking hate going to the gym. You know, it's like, yeah, cause I really hate the gym. It's like if I kept saying that type of stuff, it's like you get yourself into a weird psychosis at a certain point where you start to actually think that, which I know that sounds insane and crazy, but yet it probably has some things to do with regular ass psychology and how the brain works in that you're probably doing something to yourself by saying these things out loud or even thinking them out loud. For those of us who actually have an inner monologue, for those who don't, sorry. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Uh, but 
Oh, that's a whole other episode. I should probably do that one tomorrow. Like I was saying, I wanted to get this out there because I am a firm believer in speaking it into existence and try to be as careful with my words as much as I can be. Even in something like text, you got to be careful about those things. You got to make sure that you are taking care of what you're saying and stuff because what you put out there is what you get back. I am a believer of that. I'm not necessarily like end all be all it is all or nothing and i feel like if you're all or nothing then you have to kind of dial it back a little bit from that but i have a level of respect for stuff like that where i'm like okay i can believe it i, I understand it and i respect it i'm going to try to abide to it as much as i can because i feel like if you're not doing that you're lessening your chances of doing something if you want to take a route and try to take all the possibilities that you can all the good possibilities. Why limit yourself with one that just because you're not feeling the modus operandi or or the mechanisms behind it. I guess I'll get into the voiceover a little bit more with if I need to explain this a little bit better. But basically me speaking it saying like I'm gonna have a great workout today helps me have a good workout today. I'm going to say it, you know, if I'm gonna be like I'm going to make a buttload of money. I'm going to say, I'm going to make a buttload of money. There's no point in me going like, this workout might be all right. You know, I'm feeling meh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh. I'm always feeling good regardless of how I'm actually feeling. Because then if I tell myself I'm feeling good, then maybe I'll actually start feeling good. That's how it is. And I know it's such a simple breakdown, but yet it's such a simple thing that people don't end up doing, which is kind of frustrating because it can help out a lot of stuff. But with that being said, I'll see you on the inside. All right, so started this day off with view bar tricep pushdowns, which were fine. I completely forgot to show the camera what I was listening to at the time because I was so focused on trying to get the hell out of here that I didn't even bother to do it. So anyways, to the main subject matter at hand. Speaking it into existence is something that I feel like I should take more advantage of personally. It is something that people should do more advantageously. I feel like it is one of those things that people for some reason put, don't put stock into it for some reason and I don't understand why. As I discussed it earlier, it has to do with the placebo effect. Now I'm 99% sure from everything I've seen before that the placebo effect is a real thing and that it is a powerful thing and that it can actually work. I understand why in certain aspects of like medicine, why you would not want to do something like the placebo effect. So let's say you have an actual debilitating disease, let's say cancer or something along those lines. Something that is legit like you need medicine in order to cure it. Yeah, that's understandable where the placebo effect might not be as pertainable to it being actually usable. But but with that being said though, if your quote illness and or something is more of a mental thing, then why not use the placebo effect to your benefit in order to get better from it? It doesn't seem like taking a pill will help that. I mean, it can, but if you can cure it without the necessity of a pill, I think most people would agree to go that route. I, I don't understand the idea of throwing the baby out with the bathwater in this case, particularly because it can be a powerful tool that for some reason just gets uh, thrown away on the wayside for some weird, weird reason. It is something that most people can take advantage of. I don't do it enough, honestly. I feel like I should do it more. Now, this also kind of goes along with the idea of having an inner monologue and a few other things like that, which will be a whole other episode upon itself. But it is something that you can see throughout time, foreshadowing in a bunch of movies, shows, video games, books and all that other stuff use this type of foreshadowing as a way as like a literary device in order to show that the person is going to do x or y but in reality the world kind of works in that way in a weird roundabout fashion that's how the world usually works and you can find examples of this i feel like in most of your daily life it isn't even that hard i can think back to how many times my father said don't do this as the first thing that i do is 
that thing he told me not to do. So that's just like a small little example of something like that. But this goes out more so than that. That's like just like one time things that happen randomly. But there's a lot of stuff that you'll say like, I hope that doesn't fall. And then all of a sudden it falls and then you're like, oh shit, you know? I even on this day that I'm recording this, I said earlier while I was walking around some mountainous terrain, I hope I don't eat shit. Thankfully, I didn't eat shit, but I almost did. So I, I willed it into existence that I didn't end up eating shit because I almost, I almost did, but then I didn't. So thankfully, that wasn't something I had to deal with. But then again, that is something where I feel like it's like a weird taboo, almost like magic-like thing where people will like give it some like, we'll try to bring it down a peg as if it's not something real, as if words mean nothing, you know, as if they, oh, you just said something and now magic's gonna happen. They always take it to the extreme where it's like, I'm going to get nine, 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 nine dollars. Like, yeah, this is not gonna work. Like I'm gonna win the lottery. Of course, you can only speak certain things into existence, but I think that when people think of it, they always go to the extremes that end up making it so it doesn't happen because it's just not realistic. And I think keeping it within the realm of reality will make it so you can actually it can actually help you out. It doesn't even have to be that realistic, but it also can't be too unrealistic. That is just like, what are you doing? I feel like there's a balance to it and nobody ever really wants to hold the balance to it. But if you balance it correctly, you can balance it in your favor. And I feel like that is something that everyone should take advantage of. And we're back. Welcome to the workout debriefing. Exercises not filmed. None. Exercises skipped. We have two actually. We have the decline isopress, which was skipped because there was being used the entire time. That was why I had to skip it. So I was like, all right. And then Jefferson curls because of time constraints. I have to go home and walk my dog who's apparently antsy right now. So because he's an antsy pants, that means he's probably got poop in the pants, if you know what I mean. The, what what else am I supposed to mean? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, overall great workout, pretty good. I got I got preacher curls in because I knew I wasn't gonna come on Friday, and I have to get my preacher curls in. I have to get these biceps bigger and stronger and more bulbous, round, rotund, become a doctor of density when it comes to my biceps. So there is that. But anyways. Back to the main subject matter at hand, speaking it into existence. It is something that I don't do very often, but it is something I feel like I should take more advantage of. I feel like I should do it more often, you know, say the things that I want in life to happen to, so that way they may happen, rather than keep my mouth shut and let things kind of fall by the wayside. That is my issue. Sometimes I'm not very vocal on things, but when I could be. I talk a lot on here, but I'm on camera. It would Nothing would make a worse video than sitting in front of a camera saying nothing, you know? That'd be not fun, but that's just how I see YouTube and or the mentality of something along these lines. A vlog style thing with nothing happening would be very weird. But anyways, speaking it into existence is something that is something that people could use, but don't don't really. And I feel like more people should use it because even if it isn't necessarily potent, per se, or maybe even just a little bit of a difference, that little bit of a difference could make it so you do speak it into reality and thus you are making the world that you want to see into your reality. I mean, realistically, it starts with saying it and then doing it. Those are usually how it's easier said than done is usually how it goes. But if you keep saying it, maybe you'll get it fucking done. Sometimes people will say things and say things and say things, but never actually take action on it, of course. But if you speak things that are good, maybe you'll actually take action because the world is trying to tell you or you're trying to tell the world to force you into doing something. Maybe then that way the synchronicities of what you're saying out there will come back to get you and guide you into the correct path that you're supposed to go to. But that's a different story for a different day. We'll talk about synchronicities on a different one. But with that being said, Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about this. I would love to know in, in general. Famous one that I like to point to, uh, speaking it into existence, is the uh, Ball brothers' father who would always say Lonzo Ball was going to go to the Lakers, if I remember correctly. And then they, they got Lonzo to the Lakers. So it, it happened. He spoke it into existence. He always said that too. So it is something that I would say 
take a look at and tell me what you think of the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video with anybody who may or may not like it. They may not like any of this and they might think I'm uh, full of shit, but then again, I would love to have a discussion with them because I would like to know why I'm full of shit and they are not. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I will be back on tomorrow with a new video. I will see you in the next one. Keep it heavy. Stay safe out there. Stay warm out there or cool, whichever one it is where you're at. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.